There's an old saying, figures don't lie, but liars sure figure. I recently came across a temperature data chart that was published in March of 1975 and supposedly showed that the Earth was headed into a mini ice age. I remember articles like this, and they've made me a long-term skeptic of global warming. But I only uncovered what I'm about to show you a few weeks ago. I think you'll find it very educational. Before we go on, I need to disclose that I am not a climatologist. I have an undergraduate degree in physics and a master's degree in aviation. I understand science, and I understand how to analyze data. I work at a research university, and I know how jobs are linked to research topics. We all know that we are supposed to believe in a man-made global warming trend. If we look at historical data, it's supposed to show a relatively stable global temperature with a sudden rise in global temperatures due to man-made industrial activity. This is the so-called hockey stick shaped graph. If you don't believe in this graph, you can forget about getting research grants or favorable peer reviews. After viewing that 1975 graph a few weeks ago, I went searching for a more modern graph of the same data to compare the two. I came across this graph. Northern and Southern Hemisphere Average Global Temperatures from 1880 on. Watch to see how the data line up. I began by de-emphasizing the Southern Hemisphere in the new graph because my older graph only dealt with the Northern Hemisphere. Then I pasted the old graph on top of the new graph and I set the layer to darken so I could see them both. Interesting. Let's expand the year axis on the old graph to match the new graph. 1880 should line up with 1880, 1960 line up with 1960, we need a couple of tweaks to make them line up right. I'm going to copy this layer because we're going to need it again in a couple moments. Now I see a lot of similarities in the graphs, but they don't line up very well until I skew the data or make a systematic linear adjustment. When I add this, our data lines up much better from 1900 on, but not before 1900. Actually, the best data fit requires that I break my 1975 graph into two parts, 1880 to 1900 and 1900 to 1970. I'll trim the 1975 graph and go get a copy that I made earlier without the skew. We'll cut everything after 1900 off of the copy and place them, and now you have it. It's a hockey stick shaped graph. Notice where the line starts to grow up. Remember, figures don't lie, but liars sure figure. Now let's talk about why I'm not really worried about climate change. First, I believe that it's been highly exaggerated by political hype. If you read Noah's fine print, you will read that the temperature data has been adjusted to compensate for variability. I just showed you that this mathematical adjustment is at least a large factor in the so-called hockey sh stick shaped graph. But there is more. Having studied history, I know that our global climate has changed a great deal in the last thousand years, and it's still much cooler than it used to be. Finally, as a scientist myself, I know that there are several stabilizing cycles built into our Earth to compensate for global change and to restore order. I'd like to talk to you about these, but they're a subject for future videos. Cheers!